Hi guys, this is Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club. Um, today I'm making a layout um, using the March kits. Uh, so I had the main kit, the embellishment kit, the Project Life kit, and the colour kit. Now, um, my assignment for today was to use the April kits uh, with the colour kit and the stencil. However, I don't have my April kit yet, so therefore I have reverted back to using my March kit. Um, so I was supposed to use the colour kit and a stencil. Well, I don't have a stencil in this month's kit. However, I do have these really awesome Lindy's Starburst sprays from uh, the March colour kit and the doilies. Um, and I'm using those as my stencil instead. So literally, you saw me just stick them onto my layout, just attach them temporarily um, and I've put them um, onto the layout and then sprayed directly over the top with those Lindy's Starburst sprays and you can see that that is left a fantastic stenciled effect there and it was so easy and it took only a few seconds to do. Um, so I've also cut out some um, doilies from the cut file that's in the uh, March downloads um, from the different pattern papers that's in this month's kit or sorry the March kit and uh, I've cut them in a few different sizes and in a few different colours. I'll obviously, of course, also have the doilies that I just sprayed um, with the sprays as well. So I'm planning to kind of layer them all together, um, see how it looks, um, tone on tone, um, and um, and uh, build my layout uh, from there. Um, I must remember to not try try not to cover up the entirety of the stenciled effect that I've achieved there, um, because so often with mixed media backgrounds, that's what happens. Um, um, the uh, the um, the background gets completely hidden, <laughs> so I'm going to try not to do that. Um, what I end up doing though is um, almost hiding the bottom green one mostly. So um, I have to, yeah, never mind. These things happen. Um, <laughs> but the two, top two show. Um, okay, so I say I'm um, using the three colours uh, on a tone on tone um, embellishment style. So the pink, the blue, and the green. Um, however, I really, really love the yellow as well, and I want to bring in some of that yellow colour. So what I've done is I've used one of the small doilies that I've cut out of the yellow floral paper from the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days collection and I'm just um, bringing some more yellow in uh, with these um, parasols uh, again from the uh, Maggie Holmes Sunny Days um, collection. I really love these parasols, they're great. I've used them on so many uh, projects this month um, and um, basically I'm just fussy cutting them all out there um, and, um, and layering them around. Um, they look more effective when they're cut properly. Um, I haven't cut them properly at this point, they've just been cut out circular. Um, but what actually looks good is to cut out the white bits as well um, and then they look really good. So um, in real life anyway, you probably can't see it on screen. Um, so what I'm doing now is just trimming down my um, back Background. I should have done this first. I've used that background on Marshmallow cardstock and I haven't got my great trimmer with me. I've got a little one. Um, so um, I've had to really, really try my best to uh, cut that down. Um, it took quite a lot of... Um, lot of effort. Um, so now that um, I've got my um, background is dry and I've roughly figured out where all of these bits are going, I can just get those stuck in place. So literally just applying a small amount of tape under each one of the layers, the doilies, um, the cut file doilies and the little um, parasol pinwheels as well. You can see that I'm just cutting out those uh, little bits there as well. Um, I've gutted the background paper too. So I've picked out the reddish colour background paper um, to go around my layout to give it a frame and um, I've gutted the middle so that I can save a piece of that paper for use on another project later on. I might not use it on this layout but um, I like to preserve as much of my papers as I possibly can and putting a whole sheet behind a white cardstock base um, feels just too wasteful for me. So. Okay, so you can see, um, actually, I do use it on this layout. So I'm bringing that border colour in um, by mounting my photo on it. So I've pulled through um, that reddish print as well as the dark blue with the florals on. Um, I Actually, I wasn't planning to introduce a dark blue or navy blue into this uh, layout, but actually it looked really good. It kind of just made the photo pop up a bit. The photo has got dark blue in it, obviously, because you can see the C there. Um, and uh, I wanted to... Um, bring that through into the layout and when I put that little bit of blue paper behind it um, it really made it stand out much more I was much happier with it um, it also gives me a great excuse to bring in one of those bows because um, that's dark blue too um, I say I'm trying to um, aim for kind of color on color or tone on tone embellishment um, style here so you can see that I've added the 
blue bow to the blue section of the layout. I'm adding um, a bit more yellow above the layout there now as well with another pinwheel. Um, and I'm going to go through the embellishments now and see what else I can um, squeeze in. Um, the layout itself is already fairly busy, so I don't want to add huge amounts um, more onto here. Um, but just a few small um, cute embellishments um, would obviously work well. So um, I'm putting through some stickers from the chipboard sticker sheet, the Sunny Days, Maggie Home Sunny Days sticker sheet. That's the chipboard. Um, I really love Love the crepe paper chipboard um, stickers they're great they add so much dimension um, to the layout um, I added a little um, label sticker above the bow as well in the blue color and now I'm adding sun and shine title um, from the Maggie Holmes um, puffy sticker sheet there um, and another label down the bottom there again I'm going for the right colors so green on green blues on blues yellows on yellows pinks on pinks um, and that's something I'm bringing through um, to the um, entire layout I'm just adding another green um, little pinwheel there my layout felt a little bit lopsided at this point it seemed to be quite a lot going on over to um, the left of the layout including the big bow um, and the right hand side seemed like it needed a bit extra so I'm just working on that bit now. I've got the sun and shine title down the bottom there. I've just added that pinwheel um, to the right of the photo to bring uh, the design out a little bit and the little label sticker that I added behind that um, photo as well. Um, so um, that's looking a bit more balanced um, now. Um, and um, I'm just building up my stickers there. So I've used one of those lovely washi tape stickers from the exclusive stickers from this month's kit. And then I've added another label sticker on top. Um, just getting everything stuck in place. And I wanted to use that title Explore. I love the fact that they're just sat there looking out to sea. Um, and um, it's a really cute photo. So And I've got all that expanse of sea in the background there. So the word Explore in black um, sits nicely over the top um, of that there, of that photo there. Um, so just going through and adding those really gorgeous um, exclusive Hip Kit Club hearts. Um, they're kind of little, little enamel hearts and they're in um, all different colours. Um, and they obviously go beautifully with the kit, of course, because they're designed to go with the kit. Struggling to get those uh, reddish or dark pink hearts in there. Um, just couldn't make those work. I've moved them around a few times now. And actually, I'm still not happy with the right side of my layout. Still doesn't feel balanced. Um, so I'm just um, bringing in um, a black. Uh, wreath there, floral wreath uh, from um, again from the Maggie Holmes uh, Sunny Days um, sticker sheet um, and now I'm going to extend the right hand side of the layout even further uh, with some flicks of colour again I'm going colour on colour I'm using the three colours of Lindy's uh, Starburst sprays that came in the March colour kit they are gorgeous and they um, dry so beautifully uh, shiny and shimmery too um, and uh, so I've just gone through and added those uh, flicks um, with uh, a paintbrush I've sprayed them onto a craft mat and uh, just picked it up with a paintbrush and splattered on. I feel like I have more control that way. Um, and again, I'm still trying to balance out the right side of the layout and I'm just adding the journaling there and that does it for me. And then I am going to call it done. Um, so yeah, that was um, Nikki Rowland for Mixed Media Monday um, using the March colour kit and the doilies as a stencil. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed my layout and I will see you soon.